feel sorry for the people in the motel. You know, here God's being born in the barn and they missed it. But they had a room. Hi, I'm Kirk Cameron. Thanks for joining us for a special YouTube exclusive with Mark Lowry. Mark Lowry is a singer, songwriter, and a humorist. He penned the Christmas classic, Mary Did You Know? And he's performed with the Grammy Award-winning Gaither Vocal Band for many, many years. Mark, thanks so much for joining us. My pleasure. It's good to be with you, Kirk. Mark, Christmas is my favorite time of year. I don't know about you, but I love everything about it. I love the music, I love the smells in the kitchen, I love the Christmas tree and the lights, and I love the Christmas story. Mark, you're such a, a, a great singer, but also a great storyteller. Why do you think it's important that we share the Christmas story every chance that we can get? Well, it's such a wonderful story. I mean, God came to earth. He wrapped himself in flesh and walked amongst us. So that is a, that's big news, you know. And the prophets had foretold it. Mary already knew the Messiah was coming when she was about 13, they tell me. The angel of the Lord showed up in her bedroom and said, guess what, Mary? You're going to birth the baby. And then Mary said, but I've never known a man, which was a very good start of the conversation, I think. But the angel said, oh, Mary, the Holy Spirit will overshadow you. And, and he explained it to her. Aren't you glad God took time to explain to her through that angel how this was going to take place? And then Mary just believed. She just believed. And she started singing. I was reading this one day thinking, this ain't no time for a concert. You have an angel in the room. Ask him some questions. I think the first thing I'd have asked is, could you run by my mother's room? She's going to need an explanation. <laughs> That's right. You but Mary didn't say that. Mary just said, be it unto me as you say. And then the angel did stop by and tell Joseph so he'd know not to put her away. And then that first Christmas, I mean, just think, I, I feel sorry for the people in the motel. You know, here God's being born in the barn and they missed it. But they had a room, you know, and then they got to watch him grow up. The whole story is amazing. But God never asked us to remember his birth, but he did ask us to remember his death. And his birth is only worth remembering if we don't forget his death. Because that's why he came. He came to deliver us. He came to get us home. Our big brother, the Lord Jesus, has come for us. How can we pass up this offer? Mm. So every Christmas is just a memory. It's just a good time to remember how good he is and what he has done for us. He came for us. That's right. The creator of the universe landed on planet Earth, became one Talk of about us. aliens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and that he came for us because he knew that we had no way of restoring that broken relationship, no way of ever reconciling ourselves to God. Uh, we, we, we wouldn't, even if we could, and so he, he makes a way for us where there was no way. And I just love Christmas. And we've got to tell that story because, you know, if we don't tell that story, somebody else will tell everybody what Christmas is about. In fact, they won't even call it Christmas. They'll just call it winter holiday. And they'll say it's all about presents and gifts and all those things are great and fine. And I love turkey and, and fudge and mashed potatoes and gravy. But this is a time when we celebrate that God sends Amen. someone to fix our greatest problem and give us uh, our greatest treasure. And that, of course, Amen. is Jesus. Mark. Yes. He, he, he. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I could sit here all day. No, we got to close this down at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, I, we, we could talk all day. Uh, listen, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for sharing that Christmas story for us. And thank you so much pleasure. for watching. Please like and subscribe so you never miss a video. And Merry Christmas.